Hello, everyone. Randy here for another Farming Simulator 17 mod review. And this time we got a couple of really nice looking Peterbilt trucks here. About time, if you ask me, we get some nice looking trucks. There's obviously a lot of modded trucks out there. And uh, let's admit it, most of them are very poorly done. This time, however, we got some really nice done ones. And uh, thanks here to Mathos for finding these. These are from Trailer Park Farms Modding on uh, Facebook there. And I will have links in the uh, description if you want to check out his uh, Facebook page. He's got other mods as well. But he is the uh, mod author behind these Peterbilts here. So let's uh, look at them in the shop here first. A lot of different options with them. Comes with a pack of three trucks here. And just to make a quick note here, when you download the pack, there is an update to... I don't know which one it is here. It's the Peterbilt Bunk. So you download the pack. Uh, you don't need to put the Peterbilt Bunk in your mod folder. You download the Peterbilt Bunk separately. It's an update. Uh, fixes something that's wrong with the one that comes with the pack. I don't know what's wrong with it again. I know he uh, mentioned what was wrong with it, but yeah, I didn't pay that close attention. So just make note, when you download the pack, make sure you download the updated one for the Peterbilt Bunk. There's a separate download, and it just it's for just that truck. And like I said, I'm not sure which one it is here now looking at it. But we got a Peterbilt 377, Peterbilt 389, and a Peterbilt, another Peterbilt 389. I know a lot of folks are always asking about the, let's see once here, where is it? Yes, the uh, Peterbilt 379s I was always using. These are unfortunately private. And yeah, I forgot about that when I started using those. So yes, for those who are looking for a good Peterbilt here, this is about the closest you can get here. The Peterbilt 389 looks very similar to the truck I was always using there. Let's just uh, look at them in the shop here. Like I said, a bunch of different options. Uh, 485 horsepower, all the way up to 600 horsepower on this one. Um, I don't know what the design color does on this truck. I'm not really sure. That is the blue one here. I've got the design color set on white. So I don't really know what, what that uh, changed. And then the Peterbilt 389 here without the uh, sleeper cab. I got option between straight stacks and curved stacks uh, again engine options same as the last truck main color uh, you can put a bumper or a bull bar i think the one i have now is set to a bull bar yeah that's this uh, truck here so that one's got the bull bar on it and the design color i've got both set to red the design color at least on this truck and the next truck changes the front fender color and then small visor or large visor. Personally, I kind of like the small visor. The, l the large visor just doesn't look right, in my opinion. Or big visor. Uh, attachers, one through four. I don't really know what that actually does. What that changes. Not really sure on that one. Engine setup, 485 through 600 again. Uh, main color. And here again, the design color sets the front fender color. In this case, I've got mine set to yellow. And this one, I think I have the large visor on it. Yes, I got the large visor on this one. And like I said, you can see front fender there over the tires is yellow. So like I said, again, very nice looking uh, truck pack here from Trailer Park Farms. Uh, nice looking Peterbilt truck pack. Uh, interior looks really good as well if we get in the inside of the truck here. Like I said, very nicely done interior. Even uh, looking back in the sleeper portion there, looks uh, very nicely done. And yeah, like I said, just looking at the amount of detail here in these trucks, very nicely done. Of course, uh, no sleeper cab on this one. Anyway, let's uh, just take one of them for a spin here. Uh, seems like they drive really well. I know that's another common problem with the trucks here in the farming simulator. Like I said, it seems like there's a lot of very, very poorly done trucks in the game here. And it seems like it goes one of two ways. You either get a truck that looks nice, like these look nice, and then they drive like absolute crap. Or you'll get the ones that drive nice, and they look like crap. So it seems like it, it's hard to get both. Oop. Try not to uh, crash into traffic here.
Uh, definitely not the fastest of trucks. I do have the 600 horse engine in here. Uh, they do pull quite well. You know, only 51 miles an hour. So like I said, there are faster trucks, but nothing wrong with 51 miles per hour in the game. That definitely does quite nicely. And a nice amount of light on them as well. You can see even the marker lights light up on the road there. That's pretty cool. And like you can see there, the handling is very well as well. Uh, the one thing I did notice, you probably noticed with this trailer, it seems like the attacher is a little low. I guess the uh, front wheels are, or the rear wheels are actually turning here. I noticed when we pulled out of the shop, they were not. So it does appear to be just a little bit low for maybe the in-game trailers. At least assuming the in-game trailers are all the same anyway. It's at least low for this crampy trailer. Put it that way. So that might be one thing maybe just to uh, make a note of there. But other than that, it looks like some really nicely done trucks here. So for those of you looking for some really good looking Peterbilts, definitely suggest you check out these. Again, I will have mod links in the uh, description below for them. And again, keep in mind, make sure you update the one Peterbilt that is part of the pack. Uh, you just download that one separately. And uh, replace that one in the pack. Like I said, it comes with a pack of tr three trucks here. And in fact, if you just want to install the one truck, you can do that as well. You don't have to install all three. I know personally, I kind of like the look of this much truck myself. Just the uh, no sleeper cab on the back. But anyway, with that, uh, if folks have any other comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching and until next time.